Lisa's Crafter. So today I'm going to be showing you how to create this in design space so that you can have a beautiful wrapped gift for, I mean it's so playful, it's fake snow with snowflakes and the name. So you're not going to have a ribbon on this because your um, this is sort of like your canvas is your wrapped present. So no ribbon, so if you don't like to tie, this is a great way to do it. But um, I'll walk you through all the materials. It's basically everything from the Dollar Tree store. So everything is a dollar. The fake snow, the faux snow, um, the canvas wrapping paper. It actually is a printed paper, but I used the back side because I only wanted to spend a dollar. The cellophane um, clear wrap is also from Dollar Tree, which is a dollar. And then of course, um, I use cardstock, so that's not from the Dollar Tree. Um, cardstock and then also HTV. So I'm gonna show you how to do that reindeer. All right, so let's get started. The first thing that you wanna do always, so this is what this is what the final result was, but the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna know what your measurements for your present is. So I'm gonna measure it right now. It is 10 by nine. So I'm gonna bring in a square or a rectangle and I'm gonna change it to 10 by nine so that I can make sure that everything fits on there perfectly. So I'm going to change. First you got to unlock it because it's not even, right? It's um, 10 by 9. So there's my little square, uh, rectangle. And I usually like to make this a lighter color just so that I can see what goes on top. So I know I wanted to do Charlotte and Claire. So it's from Charlotte to Claire and I wanted to do the reindeer in the middle. So let's go and find our reindeer. I love this reindeer. I can't stop talking about it because it's so cute. I use gold, glitter gold HTV. And yes, you can iron that on. I've ironed it onto my ribbon, both grow grain and satin ribbon. Um, which I buy from Ribbons and Bows Oh My, so I'll make sure that that's also linked here. Um, but it's so cute. It's this guy right here, and let me click on this. So it just says it's a reindeer. Um, so let's insert the image. What's cool about this guy is that you can use this one cut. It's going to get you two images. It's going to get you the actual outline right? That's, that's what we want, what you see there. But when you read it, you get this guy. So it's a full reindeer. So just do double the nose, then you get two images with one cut. I love it. And I love both images, actually. Okay, so here's my reindeer. I wanted to do the name across. So, you know, you kind of want to just size it accordingly, okay? And then I wanted to do a bunch of snowflakes and then with the snow at the bottom. So let's go to images and search for our snowflakes. And I did this one and I may have brought in another snowflake. I don't, and because I think I did, I think I brought in this one. So click on both items and then insert images. So when it comes in, um, let's see, this one obviously is way too big. I kind of wanted it, you know, little ones here and there. Um, maybe make this a little bit bigger because I feel like this is about the same size. Yeah, so that looks good right here. So with the snowflakes, I wanted it to be a um, I did a blue glitter because the snow is going to be white. It's against the brown craft paper. And I knew I wanted the name to be silver, um, gold. I mean, I'm sorry, silver glitter cardstock. Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> so to do, to change the colors here, I usually go to color sync. These are all the different colors that are on your canvas right now, and you can just move everything. So um, let's just move all the snowflakes up into this top one. So you just grab and kind of like drag, drag and drop. Okay, so yep, there we go. So I did about one, two, I ended up with six because I had scrap paper, and so I ended up doing 
um, I cut double of the snowflakes just in case I wanted to put it for some something else or on the side of the present if you wanted to or I'm saving mine to do it for something else okay so here's my snowflake um, the snow is gonna be on here I'm gonna show you how to do the name so let's go to text and type in so this is happy popcorn and I love using all caps for this one um so there's a couple things that you can do I don't like because this is gonna be cardstock and I didn't really do a good job on this one so I'll talk I'll talk you through it I realized afterwards I was like well I didn't mind that it was just single letters that I was gonna be gluing or taping down um, but I should have thought about it I shouldn't so I had if you can see on this one the C H A R they're all connected so it's one piece right so that's good the two T's are connected but this is one two three four five five pieces for her name which is already way too many that I want than, than I would want and then L A R is connected but we can do a better job welding it so I like this font a lot because it's easy to read it's easy to cut and you can change the dimensions so and it still looks really good so obviously if we did something like this that's too big because our reindeer can't fit in the middle right but you can unlock this and make it longer but it still looks really good right and then that way you have more room so let's ungroup this for a second and you can so let's move this down like this so that we know how long it is but it doesn't get in the way so let's move this over and get our reindeer down now there's still some space here right like you can move I want to move it so that they're all kind of touching um, maybe not this well actually the C can touch the C can touch right here and it still looks like Charlotte so see right now I'm moving all my letters over so that they touch and then I'm gonna weld it so that it becomes one one piece so Charlotte's gonna be one whole piece and it's gonna be so much easier to handle so and it just needs to touch a little bit right and it doesn't have to be straight I mean that's the cool thing about some of these fonts is like you can make it and if you um, if you kind of move it up and down a little bit then no one's gonna notice that it's not straight all the way through right so there's Charlotte that's so much better than what I did originally so this is all one piece weld it and then the other thing that um, with this font is I like the cutouts because it gives it character like the little slits but I also don't want to deal with it <laughs> so in this case I'm just gonna go to contour and I'm gonna um, get rid of all those little cuts in between and so they're easy to find it's all these little ones the thin pieces okay so and look gone so easy right so that's gonna be Charlotte it's gonna be here and then I can actually make this reindeer a little bit bigger and let's move the snowflakes out of the way all right so now Claire let's get the C over to touch the L the A is a little bit easier right and normally I would just do like a scripty font but these girls they you know they're just learning their letters my daughter's just learning how to read so I didn't want to do a scripty a uh, scripty font all right so weld that together and then let's go to contour and get rid of all those little pieces so and that's it all right so here we go so we let's move this snowflake out of the way so when you go to piece this on your on your present um, you know make sure that you have even space here and here and 
And how cute is that? Okay, so the reindeer. So if this is the right size, I want to do a red nose. So I'm going to take a circle and I'm going to slice out this nose, okay? So make it smaller so it just covers your nose. It can be bigger, but you want it to just cover the nose and not touch anything else. And then you grab the two items and you're going to slice. So it's going to remove the nose from this whole image. So you can get rid of your slice results. We don't need that. And then we're left with the nose. And now the nose is its own piece, right? So I'm gonna go to contour because I want it to be a solid nose. So I'm gonna hide all. It's gonna give me a full circle. And I'm gonna change it to red. So there's my Rudolph. So cute. And then your snowflakes. That's it. So let me um, let me delete this. Once you figure out your size, so we know this, we don't need this um, rectangle anymore. So you could just delete it. Now, when we go to the Make It page, this is how I did it. Okay. Um, I will cut my things separately. So, for instance, I'm gonna make I'm gonna say two copies because. I'm going to do the snowflakes first. So let's go look at the snowflakes. So see the snowflakes then doubled up. Um, and I had my scrap paper and it was like this. I had a small piece that went something like this. So those are my pieces. But if you happen to only have this much, you can easily click on the three and hide selected and then you know cut this then i would go back and change it back to one apply then i would cut my cardstock oh this i need to change the color because the reindeer is different then i would go and do um i actually cut a lot of the reindeer so i did 15 dots <laughs> so and then i'll just do this okay but let's go back for a second the reindeer is gold, so I'm gonna change that to brown, and it's HTV, so I need it to cut separately. So there's that, and then that's it. So I hope that was helpful. I mean, this you might not be doing this, but I hope I gave you uh, some tips on how to work your way around design space, because I know there's so much to learn on there. I mean, I, I know sometimes it feels like it's a little antiquated, but then there's so many things that you, um, Life can be so much easier if you knew some of these tricks. So hopefully I, I gave you those, those tips. Anyway, give me your feedback, comments, questions here. And then if you have a special request, I'm here for that also. Um, just give me the details. If you need to send me a file, you can send it to Anne, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. All right, bye guys. Thanks.